could you be in Bed Bath & Beyond, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Look how much soap you're getting. I only have to put three of those in there. Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekers YouTube channel. Today we're in beautiful, historic Tarpon Springs, Florida, specifically at the Sponge Docks. And this is a great place to come and check out, to walk around and see all the different shops, find all the different cool things to do. And we're gonna grab some dinner. So make sure you stick around, check it out, hit that subscribe button, and let's go. Let's go. All right guys, like we said, we're here in Tarpon Springs. Um, so one of the things we love about Tarpon Springs is specifically the sponge docks. So the sponge docks are literally exactly what it sounds like. So they're, it's a great community here in Tarpon Springs um, and they have a lot of really great Greek shops, Greek food, Greek soaps and olive oils and all that kind of stuff. Greek so, desserts. Greek, yes. Oh, I'm excited. We're Those so excited. Favorite. So we're um, are gonna walk up down the street, show you guys all the sites. And there's um, a lot of things you can do here in terms of like renting boat charters and things like that too, because we are right on the water. So, Dolphin cruises. Yes, all kinds of really cool things. So it's gonna be a good time. And I'm gonna convince this guy to buy me some things at the store. So let's go. All right. Because I forgot my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as you come in, so you come down the main strip right here, um, just on the other side of this one building, there is a $10 locked park. It is paid to park over here. Um, and it typically gets a little bit cheaper the farther down you go. We found a spot here for $3 all day parking. Likely the cheapest parking you'll, you'll ever find in Florida. Right, so the prices do vary by day. Yeah. That can sometimes be maybe seven or even more, depending on how busy it is. But it's Sunday and uh, it's three bucks today. Yeah, we're done. So, yeah, and sometimes if it's super busy, you may just be better off paying the ten dollars of the first lot mm -hmm. and walking in because you may not be able to find any spot further, further down. But we'll cover that in our pro tips. Okay. So Tarpon Springs Sponge Dock is famous because a lot of the boats that go out and harvest the sea sponges are based right here in in this little marina, this this little harbor. Uh, so they do go offshore from here and they find sea sponges underneath the ocean that they harvest and then they make you know sponges for bathing for cooking or for for washing your dishes you know all kinds of things like that so here is one of the places where they sell the sponges they basically sell them all up and down the street yeah. but they have a little free exhibit and we're gonna go check it out let's go and of course there's a photo op we can't pass it up <laughs> i don't put shots of lewis in this here so here, yeah, here is some information about Spongerama and Tarpon Springs. Um, yeah, so currently this one's a fleet of 125 or more boats with over 500 men who dive down and they collect those, uh, those sponges. So some things to point out about the sponges is that they are antimicrobial and they don't grow mold. So fun fact. They got all kinds of different sponges. Look mm -hmm. at this one. They're soft. Yeah. So some of them are softer and different textures. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that one's wet. <laughs> squishy, squishy. Yeah. Um, some of these you use, so like the, the beauty blenders, you can use these for those too. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll put our makeup on with the sea creature. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we didn't buy any sponges there, but we did buy two pairs of sunglasses for like $18 a piece. Yeah. We're gonna get drop this back off at the truck, and then we're gonna head on down and see what other treasures we can Yeah, find. we're always on the, on the lookout for some nice yes. polarized lenses, or and cheap a, polarized lenses. Right, it's a must in Florida, for sure. Yeah, cool. All right, guys, and if you're looking for an amazing place to eat, Dimitri's on the water, cannot highly recommend enough. Nine times out of 10, when we're in Tarpon Springs, that's where we eat. Today we're gonna to try something a little bit different, try a different restaurant, but I love their lamb chops. If you like lamb, definitely eat here. Very good. All right guys, now we're gonna go inside Lori's Soaps and Sponges. They have some of the most amazing soap I've ever tried in my life. And it's also one of the most affordable bars of soap you'll find on the strip. So let's go inside and check it out. Let's go. And we love this place because there's almost, there's different kinds of flavors, right? So if you like jasmine, they've got some jasmine soap. If you like, like black cherry, they've got that too. So we're gonna pick on our favorites. And Lewis is trading tonight because I forgot my wallet yeah. because I'm a great wife. Well, and they smell really good too. I so do. the other day, I, after I just got out of the shower, yeah. Christine was going to go kiss me. She said, well, you smell it's like you put on so cologne. Clean. Yeah. I said, no, it's just soap. This is soap. 14. So it is um, April 2023. So they're four for 14 or 375 a piece. Mm. Yeah, goat milk and, then, and olive oil, French vanilla. And your extra bonus tip, don't forget to take the uh, sticker off before you use it. Because <laughs> that ends up, oh God. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they got. <laughs> now they say once you get them wet, you can you can wring them out, but don't twist them because if you twist them, that they'll break. Look at that guy. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so they do have some that already has this one attached to it, but we like um, to get the these and have this one separate. Yeah. 
So this is French vanilla. It smells it smells just like a vanilla milkshake. Yeah, is that your favorite? I like it. Okay. <laughs> well, it doesn't have a strong, very, very strong smell. S smell the bottom of it. You can't smell it? Uh, not, okay. not a whole lot. I So that one is uh, cotton candy, and I smell a lot of cotton candy. So you want that one? No, I don't necessarily like cotton candy, but yeah. We also have shampoo bars here, uh, That's if that's something you're into. All right, I'm getting a cucumber melon because being a 90s, 2000s kid, you were either a vanilla something girl or a cucumber melon girl, and I was a cucumber melon girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this one is my favorite. I think I'm going to get two of those. Look at you being a Bed Bath & Beyond girl. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much soap you're getting. I only have to put three of those in there. Well, you know, you need soap. Treat yourself. <laughs> yeah, I use soap in the shower, what they say. <laughs> We got our pretty pink bag full of soap. Yeah, how much did we spend? That was $44. We spent so much they even tossed in an extra one for free. Oh, nice. How many bars does it have to be by? We got 12. Oh, wow. 12 okay. bars of soap. Well, we're good for a while then. Pretty good deal. All right. All right, so there's a couple places on the strip here to get uh, some authentic Greek desserts that are really good. The Taste of Greece Cafe directly behind me is one of those spots. Although it's not where we typically go, it is uh, definitely a close contender for second place. We'll show you where we normally eat later on. And just so you guys know too, there's apparently the remnants of an Earth Day festival still going on here. So all this isn't normally here. So if you see so if you see a few trucks and trailers and tents and stuff in the background, know that that's nor not normally here. And when you come, you probably won't see all that. So just excuse the noise, just random day that we can't happen to come. All right, and as we continue down the street, we come to this little mall section here. So they have tons of restaurants and little shops and all kinds of things. You can definitely go on back there quite a ways explore all the little alleyways, check out all the little unique shops, buy all the little souvenirs that you care to buy. And a trip to Tracker Springs would not be complete without a picture of the shark. And I'll put those shots of Lewis in now. So Tarpon Springs is just outside of Tampa. Tampa's nickname is Cigar City. They're famous for the Cuban influences and the hand-rolled cigars, and Tarpon Springs is no different. They have hand-rolled cigars. You can watch them be made right here, buy them and smoke them right here. No, thank you. I don't like cigars. Not for everybody. Yeah. And that's, that's what happens when you have too many cigars. <laughs> and here along the river, we get a good look at some of the boats that they use to go out and collect these sponges, all docked up right here. So we've actually taken our jet skis up into this little river here. There's not really anywhere to go. We just wanted to go check it out. But we'll link that video down below where we checked out Tarpon Springs from the water. All right, Tarpon Springs was incorporated in 1908. Uh, it had its peak years back in the 1930s when shortly thereafter, a new disease came to town and wiped out a lot of the sponges in the area. But ever since then, the community has thrived around its Greek heritage, and so we've heard it's the largest Greek community outside of Greece. All right, so in addition to the, sponge, the sea sponges that they sell everywhere here, they also sell these other sponges which are made out of some sort of plant. It's like a cucumber or a gourd or something. Uh, we used to have some grown in our backyard, but it's actually pretty neat. And they're a little bit rougher than the sea sponges. But these loofahs here, these got to be the largest ones I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. Oh, it fell. And Gila's directly behind me is where we're actually going to be getting dinner tonight. But also I recommend this place just for dessert. If you happen to eat at any of the other restaurants, it's definitely worth passing a dessert anywhere else and coming here because the desserts are amazing. So good. Here's a look at the menu. <laughs> And you can go just to the restaurant or you can go just to the bakery. You don't have to go to the restaurant specifically for, for dessert. So they do have like a walk-up bakery and it's wonderful. One thing about Tarpon Springs is they have some really nice uh, like murals and things like that. So you have a mermaid with sponge bro, you have an octopus, another turtle, a jellyfish, and then a big old tracky boy. Mm -hmm. And over across here, the street we have the Acropolis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there are some free public bathrooms here as well. So. Definitely don't pass up on those. Because a lot of places you can't use their bathroom unless you pay, you know, like the restaurant or whatever, so. These look nice. Yeah. And down here at the end of the strip, you can also grab some ice cream at Sweetie's Ice Cream Coffee and Desserts. They also have some hard ice cream you can get while you're in there too. We don't drink, but my friend got it last time and he really enjoyed it. Yeah. Just remember that. Tarpon Springs is not an open container community, so make good choices. <laughs> and this seems like an interesting proposition. Tattoos, you get what you get for $100, let fate decide. I know Christine's always telling me that I shouldn't be telling people what kind of tattoos to get because of some of the decisions I've made in my life. But I can tell you, that's probably not a good decision to make. Are we judging people for their tattoo choices again? <laughs> 
And down here at the end of the strip, we have Rusty Belly's Waterfront Grill. So we have not eaten here, but it does seem very popular and there's often a wait list. Rusty Belly's does have a really great patio area here too. It's a great place to grab a drink, hang out in one of those Adirondack chairs and watch the sunset. Uh, so Rusty Belly's is the end of the street, right? So past that you'll be in the river. So we're gonna head back to uh, Gila's, Hello's, I'm not sure how you say it, and uh, grab some lunch or, and uh, grab some dinner, let's go. Okay. Five minutes later. So I did not realize my pasta came with stuff. So I got rice, potatoes, and I'm gonna call those peas. I don't really know what else to call them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they look like chickpeas. Cause I got some too, but they're not. They're, they're regular peas. Yeah. Yeah, the peas. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but check out these lamb chops, man. Yeah, that's a great. That looks amazing. Love the presentation there with yeah, the onion, onion. together. Yeah, it's awesome. So. You excited for dinner, babe? Yeah, I'm gonna give this a shot here too. I'm not, and I won't be a barbarian this time and eat it with my hands like I yeah, normally like do. Yeah, like a manimal. Mm. Good. Okay. That is really good. So what just happened? So, like I said, we do normally come here for dessert, regardless of where we eat. And this is the first time we've actually eaten here, and they give us this whole thick. A thick boy dessert <laughs> menu, and what's even better is they all come with photographs, photographs too, because that's the hardest part. Is because I never know, like Oreo pasta, I would have never thought that it looked like that. Yeah. So we are gonna pick out a couple tasty desserts here for sure. Can't wait. You always give me crap about giving such low scores to the Disney, <laughs> you know, because they don't have the variety. This is variety. He's more thing. He's supposed to look at this menu at least three times. <laughs> Is it Coke, maybe? I'm, Coke? I'm, I'm trying to figure out how you pronounce that. I, yeah, I think it's, it must be Coke. Uh, yeah. The line over it indicates like a long O, oh, yeah. right? If you're not careful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? What happened? I don't know. I blacked out. <laughs> he looked really good, though. Yeah. All right, let's begin. The... So Lewis decided to get the strawberry. Oh wow! So it's like strawberry on the inside too. Yeah. Right, it's not really in focus, but you guys kind of can see the pink so on the inside. So it's strawberry custard on this one. I think yours may be chocolate custard, but yes. normally it's um, like vanilla custard. That was a big bite, babe. Good? Yeah. Very good. Never yeah. go wrong with um, dessert here. Yeah. Is it dark chocolate? Uh, it's, um, it looks a little bit like dark chocolate. You're making a mess though, dude. Yeah. That's really good too. Yeah. So it's got some uh, chocolate mousse in it. Mm, nice. All right, babe. <laughs> what? How was dinner? Dinner? Mm -hmm. It was really good. Yeah, I'm, I really enjoyed it. Those lamb chops were really good. Wish there was more of them, but uh, the flavor is spot on. You know, as always, the desserts spectacular. Yeah, what was the damage? So this one was pretty high. Um, <laughs> it was ninety dollars before tip. Yeah. But fifty of that was my lamb chops, so, and I splurged quite a bit on those. Uh, your your dinner was only nineteen, and that was really good too. So yeah. we definitely could have gotten a lot, a lot, uh, quite a bit more affordable. The kebabs coming out of out of the restaurant look really good. The salads look really yeah, good. The euros, the euros, really good. everything looks really good. So um, this is our first time eating here, and I think we'll have to come back. All right, guys, let's wrap up our time here in Tavern Springs. Hope you all had a good time. I know I did. Sure, Lewis did too. And here's Lewis with the pro tips. All right, guys. So here are your pro tips for visiting Tarpon Springs. I'd say number one is for parking. Uh, the further down into the, like the center section that you go, the cheaper it's going to generally be. Although on busier days, you may just want to go ahead and get that first spot right up front, pay the $10 and walk in because this place can get really busy if you come during high peak times like Saturday afternoon. Pro tip number two is definitely don't skip on the, the Greek desserts here. There are two bakeries here on the street that do a fantastic job and you can't go wrong with anything inside either of those stores definitely get the dessert it is delicious and you'll thank me later pro tip number three is there's more to do than just shopping and eating here in tarpon springs there's also plenty of dolphin tours and other excursions you go on a fishing trip and all that you can book right here in any of these shops all right guys so that's going to do it for us today remember to like share comment subscribe let us know in the comments below have you ever been to Tarpon Springs? Do you plan on coming here? We'd love to hear about your visit. And with that being said, we're out of here. Remember to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next weekend. Down at the very end of the strip, we have Rusty Billy's Waterfront Bellies. Grill. Rusty Billy's? Okay. Yeah, well, you said starting so I started again. Okay. And Helena's. Hel no. It's not Helena's, there's no N. Okay, then how do you say it? I think it's Gila's. And sometimes there's often a wait list.
That doesn't make sense. And all of the, sorry. Mm -hmm, right. Not so easy yeah, now, is it, bro? All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. It's to eat, Dimitri's by the water, highly recommend. Nine times out of 10 when we're in Tarpon Dimitri's Springs. Dimitri's on the water. Yeah, on the water. So this is a place that we've not eaten. So we've not eaten ever. But we found it. Come on, motorcycle, get out of the way. <laughs> It is uh, harder, but yeah. mm -hmm. I'm just yeah. trying to keep it condensed. I, right. th this is going to take uh, me nine hours to edit. So it's All right. <laughs> five out of five stars, I'd poop here again. Oh my God, get out of here. <laughs> you know, so like, let me do one line mm -hmm. and then you kind of pan to the sign. Oh, okay. Okay. So we've, uh, we've actually stopped here before. They oh, have... hold on. Yeah, let's just get a picture of the sign. Oh, okay. All right. Take 94. All right. All right. Okay. We'll just wait. We'll okay. wait a second. Production was at its top levels. You're not panning. I'm fact checking. <laughs> Take 94. <Yeah. laughs>